you need to just ignore these people, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, there these people, uh, I, I, I was guilty of getting involved with this sort of stuff too with them. At the end of the day, I'd say, they're not going to improve your life. They're only going to make it worse, you know? Um, if you were lying on an operation table there tomorrow, right? And you were very ill, these people would be there hoping you die. You know, that's the reality of these people. They're nasty, vile people, you know, and, you know, we've only one life. And uh, I'd say to you, you don't need to be surrounding people that want your demise or, or want, you know, to see you suffer. Because these people, that's what, that's how they get their energy from these people. They're evil people. I keep saying it before, very evil people. And, you know, you're better off just to, to try and, Blank them out and, and forget about them, you know, because you know these people show no humanity. These people will not reconcile. They will not apologize if they've done something wrong. They're evil, you know. I've seen people over. Look, what I fell out with people down through the years, people online or people elsewhere. You make up. You say sorry. You move on or whatever, and you reconcile. But these people are just wanting to stick the knife in the whole time to you. I can see it there. Like, I, I, I see what's happening. I'm not, uh, to be honest with you, I, to be honest with you, I don't uh, go looking at live streams yeah, as much as you used to. And I don't see, but what? He's asleep. He, yeah. Yeah, he's asleep. Is that, oh, John is asleep, yeah. So, yeah hi, yeah. John, if you're still awake there. But look at you need to understand these people are nothing. They're they're they're, they're no consequence to your life, and your health is your is your wealth. And don't be letting these people try to destroy you. You know that's that's the reality of it. You know um um you know uh, look. I even seen that that person that you were going on about there the bit the, the the big ego or whatever you call them. You know I haven't said a thing about him for the last month or two. You know. Now, I haven't mentioned his name, but he, look, I haven't gone searching. I just, I just, I was tipped off the other day that on Shooting Star, he was taking pot shots at me and the pot shots at you. I wasn't there in the stream. They tried to make out that that was me in the stream. It wasn't actually, I've never hidden who I am when I go. Yeah, I don't know where you in the stream, Matty. I never asked you were you in the stream, but I can assure you, I've never hidden who I am. I've always, when I ever go into a stream, my it's either mix something or whatever it is. It's a, it's it's that's that's my um, my username, and uh, I've yeah, never hidden funny, who I am. The funny, Miko, because if there is a troll, they pinpoint their finger to us. Yeah, but there's just look. There is people probably trying to troll, to make troll accounts of me. Maybe that are not. They're probably maybe supporters of you or something, or maybe but but trying to make out that's me or something. But I can assure him, I've never hidden who I. When I go into a live stream, I've never um, used uh, you know an, you know fake accounts. So you will know if it's me or not. Okay, and that's I've I've always been. You know, that's that's always been the way. I've never hidden who I was. Now, the same person, I was just tipped off as well. He, he done a, um, a, a little video there. I think he was in Doha the other day. Um, I think he's on his travels again, on his hawking. You know, he goes around different countries trying to sell his stuff or whatever it is. Um, he, he he didn't mention names, but near the end of that video, he made some smart comment, and he he he, he was meant to me, and it was meant to you. He made a couple of uh, you know, a whole, I don't forget what words he described, but it was meant for me, and it was meant for you. Like this guy, you know, he talks about peace, and he talks about like uh, moving on. And he's the, he's the biggest uh, uh, stir of, of you know venomous uh, stuff. Like he keeps keeps constantly trying to drag things up to try to destroy me and to destroy you. And look, I haven't talked about this guy for over nearly two months. Um, he's a sad individual. I've come to the conclusion the guy is a very sad individual. 